Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk about personal finance, investing, and chart analysis. You may remember a while back, we created a FinViz scanner to find stocks like Enphase Technologies. Again, Enphase went from $1 to now it's trading at $330. Uh, this is a, well, it was a microinverter company, but now it's uh, much bigger. They have multiple range of products, but we created a scanner to find stocks exactly like Enphase before it had its large run. Let's go and look and see what kind of results we get today. And let's see if there's any good potential stocks that we might want to consider taking a deeper look at. Let's go. All right, so we are on finviz.com and we are on the screener page and this is our moves like end phase screener. This has uh, several different parameters that again, follow the same exact um, financial data points that uh, end phase had before the run from $1 to now $333. So the specific data points are I hope you can read it on your screen. Uh, the market cap is for looking at micro cap stocks, so $50 million or less. Quick ratio over 0.5, meaning they have some, some cash. Uh, institutional transactions are positive. The long-term debt to equity is under 0.1. The target price by analysts, uh, the current stock price is below that, so the target price is higher than the current stock price, meaning it's undervalued. Gross margins are over 20%. Insider transactions are also positive. And the shares outstanding, meaning that shares available for you or I to trade are under 100 million shares. So um, as we have this here, we're just going to scroll down. <laughs> we only have four stocks. Uh, it looks like we have a software company. We have a solar company. Oh, I'm very familiar with Sunworks. We have an IT company and we also have another software company. Let's go ahead and look at all four of these. All right, so the first one is Mix Telematics. No idea what that means. Current stock price is $7.85. All right, let's look at some financial metrics here. So we have, they do $142 million in sales. They do a 3% dividend. Um, they're a little overvalued currently and they're gonna be less overvalued next year. Um, they have some, they have good cash. They have no debt long-term. Um, earnings this year are negative. Earnings next year are very positive. Uh, that so it's jumping to 192 percent next year so we would want to read financial statements to see why there's a huge jump there uh insiders own six percent of the company there's been heavy in insider transactions uh institutions own 38 percent of the company and about 6.69 percent recent activity gross margin 62 percent that's really good um, shares float 11 million. That's very low. And I just want to look at the monthly chart to see what we're looking at here. Uh, overall, it doesn't seem bad, but I don't know why they pay a dividend. That, that That's questionable for me. I would think if they're going to be a high growth, they should be using that money for their business purposes. But so looking here, we can see we have a high, we have a low, we have a higher high lower high but then we i mean lower higher low so let me restart we have our low here we have our highest high we have a lower high and then here our high is lower and this is kind of looking like a bearish flag where we have the flag pull and this is kind of going to make another move down um if we do some quick math we can see that um, 142 million in sales divided by 11 is going to be about a $14 stock. 
So it's uh, undervalued a little bit in that point, but if we're looking at the shares outstanding, then it's a little bit more reasonably, pri reasonably priced. Um, so let's look and see how heavy these insiders are actually buying. It looks like this company might have just done a reverse split because these buys are at 48 cent levels. No split. I don't know how they were getting it that cheap. Interesting. Um, I don't know how they were buying this stock at the, these prices in March. Um, so very questionable there. Um, so it is a mix telematics. It provides fleet and mobile asset management solutions through software delivery model. The company offers Mix Fleet Manager, a web-based application which provides commercial fleet management solutions for... Okay, so this is for um, drivers driving. So, so this is a... Okay, so this is a global product, but it's headquartered in Florida. But there's a lot of activity used outside of the U.S. Let's just look at the company. <clears throat> Um, so again, just fleet management, uh, I mean, it seems pretty compelling, honestly, like the product, um, you know, it has a lot of room to grow with, um, you know, driving in the future AI base. So, I mean, fair value. Let's let's just pull out the calculator. So they're doing 142 sales this year, but they're down, the earnings per share this year is going to go down 40%, but next year it's going to boom. So let's just stay flat. 142.6 divided by the 22 million outstanding six dollar stock fair value um okay i just want to go back to march this year and see how they were able to buy the shares at that price i don't see it i don't get it I think that's a potential red flag to stay away. I don't know. Um, well, yeah. So, I mean, I don't think this one has end phase like trajectory. And I think the next pattern is going to go lower. So if we let me scroll this up for you guys to show you. So here is our base before this was like this was like the lowest support before, and now this is the lowest support before. I mean, current support. So this is going to be scratched off the list. Scratched off the list. Uh, Sunworks Solar Company. Um, so first of all, I know that this is residential solar and deals with a lot of individual, like people, you and I, civilians. So... And they're in the U.S., so they are kind of exposed to the U.S. politics. So they make 130 a year. They lose 35. So they make about 100 million. 34 million shares available. I mean, this is a three dollar stock. It's a little undervalued currently, but you know, um, this was one that really went up in 2021 and then came back down to reality. Yeah. Or no, I'm sorry, down here. Yeah, it came up to 28. So, um, 
yeah, just uh, I don't think this one's in phase like material at the moment. I mean, if it were, I think for Sunworks to be that level of material, we need commercial pro we need commercial projects, less residential. Those are better gross margins. Gross margin 46, fine, but just not, not cutting it. I mean, people that are buying, CEO bought almost 20,000 worth at 190, good, good buy there. Um, so, you know, not a bad, not a bad one to add at these levels, but not something we're going to see go to, uh, 300, I don't think. Uh, I think if we do want to look at a solar company that's going to do that, it's going to be Rena Solar, ticker, sol ticker symbol SOL. Um, so that one's out of the marching. This is a Telos Corporation. They make 233 million a year. They lose 38. Um, so about almost 200 mil a year. 41 mil float, so about a four dollar stock. Um, what does this company do? Let's just go down. Ooh, some really good buys right here. These are really big buys. Okay. Um they got a bunch of cash. Total assets 246, total liabilities 65. That's really good. Okay, I like this. Uh, provides IT solutions and services worldwide. Exacta, cyber risk management. Okay, okay, okay. So basically a security, IT, enterprise security. Used by military field operator. Okay, so I mean, this is a pretty... This could be a really decent buy, honestly. Um... I like this. Let's look at the chart long term. It's a little overpriced at $4, but I mean, if we're looking long term. So this was, this came down tenfold, which is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, they're, they are going to look pretty decent. Um, let's look at their website. Okay, I'm um, just kind of showing all their little products here. Thank you. Don't care. The website doesn't look too bad. Um, okay, so they got the U.S. government. Okay, so I like this. This could be something. This could be really strong in the future. I'll go ahead and say it. This could be a really strong company in the future. Um, that guidance, I don't know if that's because contract government contracts are going to renew. I don't know, but um, yeah, I mean, this does not look too bad. Um, let's just do some quick math. 233.6 minus 38.9, 194 divided by 41.86, 465 at the very low end, the very high end, sorry. So let's grab that 194.7 again. That is the sales minus income, and we're going to divide it by the total shares outstanding, so it's going to be 67.49. So $2.88 could be the low and the high is $4.69. So it's pretty priced reasonably here given um, current sales of $2.33 and the shares. So you know what? Not bad. Let's look at Fintel really quick. And let's look at TLS. I just want to see what the trend has been for institutional buying here. Oh, look at this. Can you see my mouse? 
heavy, heavy, heavy interest. And it looks like it's not really going down. 416 million in, um, that's 416 million in institutional value. But, whoops, Finviz shows 276. Ooh, this might be a little delayed though. Let's see. Um, so I'm looking here to see if there's any minuses. So we have reduction, 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 reduction. A lot of additions though. Addition, that's, that's big. What the? So this advanced series trust bought 134,000 shares, $1.1 million worth. Wow. BNP Arbitus bought $905,000 worth. $3 million worth. Very cool. Okay. I, I like this. I... I would put this on my watch list for my account challenge, honestly. Yeah, I like this. I'm just going to note that down. TLS. All right. Um, cool. I think this one's potential. I think it could go if we're looking, if we're thinking about, you know, 10 years. Yeah. Okay, uh, next and last one is VRAR, ticker V-R-A-R. The Glimpse Group, just looking at financial metrics, they only make 10 mil a year. They lose 9 mil, that's not good. Uh, insiders are buying a bit. Institutions are buying a bunch. Um, uh, no debt. They're good here. Quick ratio, they have some cash. Gross margin 77, way overpriced. This should be around. So after income, they make around less than a million. They make half a million dollars a year. This is way overpriced. Let's look at the big chart. Yeah, this is overpriced. Okay, let's go down. Let's just look. Okay, the Glimpse Group is a VR and AR company. Good gravy. I think of the metaverse. Not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Uh, all of these insider buys, too, are pretty weak, honestly, too. Like, they don't they don't feel confidence in their company. I mean, I mean they're big, but they're not, like, million-dollar chunks. So ooh, this one's going to be a no for me for sure. Um, so yeah, there were only four stocks, but that took us some time. So if you guys enjoyed this content, please consider liking and subscribing and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.